Hi, uh, my name is Pramad and this is a video tutorial for the ground truth, ground truth labeling software that, uh, that we've created. So uh, before we get started, I'm going to show this in Fedora, uh, which is a distribution of Linux, but uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, the software uh, will work equally well in Windows or any other OS as long as you have MATLAB 7 or higher installed. So in order to get started, let's just go to the project web page and that's http colon slash slash reflection reflection sim s y m m e dot source code dot net okay so here you have all the different uh, ground truth different types of files that you could label ground truth for so what i'm going to do is is choose the synthetic images single symmetry uh, zip file so I'm just going to press this and save this file. So it's saved on my desktop. So let me just check that out. Yeah, here it is. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up a terminal, change my directory to the desktop. Really? Uh, yeah. Uh, and unzip this, uh, just unzip this file that I have. Okay, so now I can just go ahead and start up MATLAB. Voila. So MATLAB is starting up right now. And what I'm going to do is change my current directory to, to the folder that I've just unzipped. So that's this. And I can just type in ls and see, the all, see that all the files are there. So now, I'm, now what I'm going to do is, is open up the gt label underscore GUI dot M. So I'm just going to open this up and, and run this. So now you see the GUI pop up. I'll just go ahead and close all the other windows that are open on my desktop. It's getting crowded here. Mm, so what I'm going to do is uh, this this is, uh, is the instruction bar for the GUI. So you'll see instructions regarding what you have to next do. Uh, in this GUI, so right now it tells you to press the start button and select a directory from the pop-up menu. So I'm going to press the start button, and the directory which contains all the synthetic single images is, is shown here, but what I'm going to do for the purpose of this tutorial is to actually browse to a different directory called random, and then to a directory called few good images. And I'm going to open this up. The reason I've chosen this, di this other directory is because it has only four images, and that way I'll be able to breeze through this tutorial pretty fast. Now, before I go ahead and start labeling the ground truth for this image, what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to explain uh, the, the actual ground truth labeling process. So there are two parts to this ground truth labeling process. The first part is where you, you, you label the reflection axis. So now you're going to do that for all the images. And once you're done with this, you're going to go to the second part where you label the support region for each reflection axis that you've chosen. Now, uh, let's go ahead and do the first part. So what I'm going to do, it's pretty straightforward. All you have to do is left click, and that should show up this line. You can move the cursor around and adjust it to an uh, appropriate point, and left click again, and that should give you your reflection axis. So if you're satisfied with this, as I am, right click and just press the next step again, and this should show you another image. So just go ahead and do the same thing. Left click, left click again, right click, and you get this option next step. So again, just left click, go down here, left click. Now there can be like multiple axes uh, inside an image. So so if you uh, if you think that these eyeballs are also symmetric, so you can just go ahead, left click again, and label them. Okay. Uh, so now you have done this, and you right click, and you're about to go to the next image, but suddenly you feel that these uh, reflection axes aren't significant enough. So now in order to erase this, uh, uh, these selections that you've made, all you have to do is press this button, cancel line selections, and press the next step. So what this is going to do is give you a chance to have another go at this image. So everything vanishes, you get back to your original image, and then you can just specify the reflection axis, and just right click, and just move to the next image. This right here is actually what is called the progress bar. So it tells you that you're in step one of the two-step process uh, 
so the ground truth labeling and you've completed three out of the four images so right now we are on the on the fourth image so i'm just going to go and quickly select the reflection axis for this image right click and go to press the next button uh, and now it tells me that all the four images have been completed and i have to save the data in order to save the data i have to just press this button and it pops up this gui so type in something so i can probably name it like kamaj tutorial and just save it okay so now it gives me a button to move to the next stage which is the second step uh, where i'll be labeling the uh, the support regions so here uh, the reflection axis that you have chosen earlier will appear so you have to just left click and it will create an ellipse and you can just le keep left clicking and keep adjusting the size of the ellipse until you think it's appropriately sized and then you can right click and move to the next image so it's pretty straightforward uh, left click adjust the size of the ellipse and right click left click and right click so let me just quickly do this for all these images and now that i've done this uh, i can save the uh, it tells me to save all the data so i can just press save final data and it will pop up a default name so just stick with the default name and just press save so that's it uh, you basically labeled all the ground truths and then you have also specified the support region for the for the symmetric objects so all you have to do right now is just email the the mat files that you've created to me so i'm just going to go ahead and do that uh, i'm pretty sure all of you know how to email but uh, just for the sake of completeness i'm just going to show you mm, so just go to google mail gmail and uh, uh, just compose uh, compose a mail so uh, my email I address is kv106 at at psu.edu and uh, attach file uh, so this file is on my desktop and that's right here that's right here so you just have to email the uh, underscore ellipse file so you just select that and you know ground truth would be a good subject and you know just type in hi Pramod here is your file and just send it to me okay so because I have sent it to myself you know I can see it here in my inbox uh, so that's it. Uh, that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, comments, or doubts, feel free to shoot me an email. Uh, I really appreciate the fact that you're taking out time to, to look at this video. And more importantly, you'll be taking out time in the future to label the ground truths. So I really appreciate your effort. Uh, and thank you.